everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have discovered a new system for genome editing. Genome editing depends on adapting a natural system called CRISPR, which allows bacteria to protect themselves against viral infections. It was two years ago that scientists first used a CRISPR system utilizing a protein called Cas9 to edit a mammalian genome. But now scientists at MIT and Harvard have identified another CRISPR system that could be even better suited to that purpose. The new system uses a protein called CPF1. It's smaller and simpler than Cas9, which makes it easier to successfully deliver to cells. It also allows scientists to insert new DNA sequences more precisely, reducing the chance that a mutation will occur, and allowing targeted genes to be recut if a mutation does appear. The paper on CRISPR CPF1 is published in the journal Cell. Next up, engineers in California have invented microscopic motors that could someday help to clean up carbon dioxide pollution. The machines consist of tiny tubes with the enzyme carbonic anhydrase on their outer shells. The enzyme reacts with carbon dioxide and converts it to calcium carbonate. In experiments, the micromotors took just five minutes to remove 90% of the carbon dioxide from a sample of ionized water. Much has been said to raise awareness of the harmful effects of excessive amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but increasing CO2 levels pose a threat to Earth's oceans as well. For example, ocean acidification damages coral, threatening the habitat of a quarter of all marine species. Needless to say, an effective method of decarbonating water, which the inventors of these micromotors hope they will be, would be very good news. And finally, a new theory could shed light on the mystery of dark matter. It's currently estimated that dark matter accounts for 83% of all matter in the universe, yet it's essentially invisible to our direct observations. But that could soon change if the theory proposed by a team that includes physicists from the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory is confirmed. The theory is a new model of dark matter that describes it as stealthy, difficult to detect under the conditions of today's universe, but relatively easy to see in the extremely hot environment of the early universe. If this theory holds up, it could be possible to detect dark matter using a high-energy particle collider, like, say, the Large Hadron Collider. According to the theory, dark matter does interact with highly energetic matter. Such interactions would produce electrically charged particles that could then be detected and identified dark matter might not be so dark after all if we know where to look for it. This study is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. A newer, better technique for gene editing is discovered. Tiny motors could help to clean up carbon dioxide pollution, and a new theory could lead to the detection of dark matter. And one more thing, just before I walked in front of the camera to record this video, NASA announced that it's found evidence of liquid water on present-day Mars. I'm sure I'll have more to say about that next week. And that's the good news. Any last words for the people? No? Stunned. Stunned into silence at the Mars Water News. Isn't that right? See?